Well, whether you're moving in today for the first time or you're returning to San Angelo, welcome back for the official start for that semester and nothing better than some sweltering heat to kick off the school year. Now, I've got to talk with Dr. Moran, but I'm pretty sure everybody is starting school right now and record-setting heat to kick it off right now, looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours, going from those upper 70s, making a good 23-degree run way off the chart at 110. And we're still holding strong at 109 right now now looking at the temperatures across the entire region right now everybody else joining us in the triple digits 108 there in junction everybody else at 106 looking for 10 degrees it's definitely out there right now between san angelo or coleman at 109 with big lake and el dorado at 100 degrees there it is it takes some sweltering hot high pressure to get us within that standard but we are watching a little bit of that cloud cover push in from the east and we'll see how much heat we hold on to i'm very hopeful for a little bit of rain and it's looking like more and more could be making its way in as we find ourselves on the unstable side of this high and the weakening side finally on the back side of some of those cooler temperatures of course dew points are way down there in those 40s while the humidity indices are in those teens except way down there to the southeast and junction where they are at a 62 degree dew point and some 22 percent humidity we'll see how much it makes its way up by tonight and see how much we hold on to by tomorrow here is the upper level pattern with finally some good news watch this high pressure finally diminished by the weekend this low takes a good aim at it and then as we make our way into that sort of last week of august that high pressure finally vanishes we did it now we just have to make it through these next couple days because by next week we're going to be in those mid 90s and it's still on the way down now we're really tracking this low pressure off the west coast to see how strong it's going to be to see how cold the air is going to be and to see how severe some of it's going to be as well as we're watching the uh, moisture tracker where we're watching the central united states where we do watch a lot of that severe weather develop you can see how it sort of takes over all of nebraska pushing into iowa and then encompassing the mississippi river valley while they're still dealing with a strong pocket of dry air off towards the east and we are picking up small circulations of some eastern pacific hurricanes which could help in the aid of weakening this high pressure take you down to the surface where we're watching a lot of those severe thunderstorm watches and warnings for wyoming south dakota and montana and of course some of that afternoon thunderstorm activity with some flash flooding down there in arizona but we're still keeping our eye on this high pressure circulation. We're going to take you all the way down into the Concho Valley where we're seeing a lot of that cloud cover push off towards the east, take you into the radar where we are tracking a little bit of it develop, but we'll see how much it fights its way into this area unless it becomes completely vaporized by some of this triple digit heat. Here's the future cast where we watch it quickly dissipate by this evening. Then tomorrow afternoon, another widespread amount, but you can see the outflow boundaries associated with it as we get towards those evening hours it quickly dissipates for a very humid Friday then it's gonna try one more time pretty widespread starting here in San Angelo by about Friday evening then it quickly dissipates out of the area and then by Saturday I run out of data but things are definitely cooling down so tonight back down into those 70s watching for some of that light rain shower activity fingers are crossed then tomorrow one more hot day I keep saying it but we still have our eyes peeled for some of that evening thunderstorm activity as things cool down finally on the backside of that high pressure going from those upper triple digits finally down to those lower 100s by the weekend and as we begin that fourth week of august finally dropping back down into the 90s and it keeps going from there while the lows go from those lower 80s all the way down into those lower 70s with a good opportunity for some rain with stay tuned while more up the break you're watching ksan news at five